Hotel Metropole, Vienna, October 23rd, 97. Dear Joe, We are gradually getting settled down and wanted. Vienna is not a cheap place to live in, but I have made one small arrangement which has a distinctly economical aspect. The vice consul made the contract for me yesterday to wit. A barber is to come every morning at 8.30 and shave me and keep my hair trimmed for $2.50 a month. I used to pay a dollar fifty per shave in our house in Hartford. Does it suggest to you reflections when you reflect that this is the most important event which has happened to me in ten days? Unless I count in my hand in a cabin over to the police day before yesterday with the proper formalities and Promise to appear in court when his case comes up. If I had time to run around and talk, I would do it, for there is much politics a-going, and it would be interesting if a body could get the hang of it. It is Christian and Jew by the horns. The advantage with the superior man, as usual, the superior man being the Jew every time and in all countries. Land, Joe, what chance would the Christian have in a country where there were three Jews to ten Christians? Oh, not the shade of a shadow of a chance. The difference between the brain of the average Christian and that of the average Jew, certainly in Europe, is about the difference between a tadpoles and an archbishop's. It's a marvelous race, by long odds the most marvelous that the world has produced, I suppose. And there's more politics. The clash between Czech and Austrian. I wish I could understand these quarrels, but of course I can't. With the abounding love of us all, Mark.